you can almost feel uh, the drive intensity from the female. Incredibly capable. But again, for some families, that drive intensity may be a tad too much. This is why the flexible options are important. So which breed, um, which breed is the right breed to go for? Um, and again, there's a lot of variables there, personal circumstances, your ability to handle a dog. I think most uh, personal protection clients, 90% of the time, there isn't a threat. So uh, an animal that is sometimes non-offensive and pretty straightforward um, could actually be on a day-to-day -day basis, be a better option for some families. I think a large percentage of uh, personal protection clients are reactive uh, to an incident or a perceived incident. So looking for an animal that is incredibly strong and defensive um, for them offers peace of mind. But what about the day-to-day -day maintenance of that animal? So a great deterrent, how does that help you? You know, a dog that's going to indicate and bark uh, with enthusiasm, um, you know, that could challenge an intruder enthusiastically. Most of the time, that is a sufficient canine, most of the time. I believe that the difference between heavyweight boxers of this era and the era of Mike Tyson is intent. And that can correlate to the breed of dog as well. This type of breed, the intent is very genuine and very real. So, it's really interesting, um, you know, which breed uh, people initially find um, attractive. Um, you know, you have to look at your lifestyle. You have to look at drive intensity as well. So the question is, what is the point of buying a breed that does not have the um, 
true intent. Is there a point? Sometimes people want a deterrent, but more often it's really important for people to feel like they can handle the dog. That is a critical part of the purchase. Serious crime, um, life-changing crime, uh, crime with uh, outrageous outcomes. And when you are a victim to those type of crimes, you want a canine that is relentless in its pursuit. However, you've got to understand to handle a canine that has this type of uh, strength and determination on a daily basis can also be incredibly challenging. I cannot uh, stress enough the importance of joint supplements like can hydroxy gag. Um, if you've got working dogs, young dogs, um, definitely you want to be trying the Canina products out. The V25 um, supplement vitamin is pretty incredible. And also the Ocean Feeder Triple Seaweed. Try these things out uh, and you'll see the interesting benefits for your canine. Belcando. They have this fantastic uh, Ibirico, which is a pork and rice uh, range. <laughs>